Hi, I'm Matthias. I'm going to demonstrate how to install a Toast real wood cover on the Samsung S8. Uh, installation is very similar with the S8 Plus um, and other similar uh, smartphones. So for the Toast kit, we actually you come comes with a back cover. So it's real wood laser cut um, to fit uniquely to the contours of the S8. Um, this one's actually a custom engraved one. Uh, it's got a customer's logo there. Uh, the kit also includes a set of button covers that makes all the buttons really easy to access and an alcohol wipe. Uh, we're also going to be installing the optional front cover which covers the front frame, uh, the bezel around the screen. So to start we're going to clean uh, the phone to get any uh, grease, fingerprints, that kind of stuff off of the surface so we get a good bond. Just using the alcohol wipe. I'm going to mainly focus just on the edges of the phone because that's going to be the place that it really needs to stick a little bit better. And we'll just dry it off with a rag. So with toast covers, the important thing is alignment. So with this, with the Samsung S8, we're actually going to start with this camera lens button, uh, camera lens cover, um, which is going to help us align the cover. So by peeling off the back paper, we can pop out the camera lens cover. We'll just install it over the lens and just kind of shift it around until it's perfectly aligned. And then we're going to use that to install the back. So we're going to remove the backing paper. And you can see it leaves these dots of paper on the cover. That's intentional, that's going to make it a lot easier to align as well as to remove when you're done with it. So we're going to line it up over the camera lens and get that nicely aligned. Pop it off if you need to. And then we're going to sight down and get the bottom lined up with the uh, headphone jack and there's little mark, tick marks here um, to help you align the bottom with the USB and that headphone jack. And you can shift it side to side if you need to to get it perfect. So there we go, that's the hard part. Now we're just going to roll all the sides onto the body. So we're going to press down and just roll up. We're going to do that with all four sides. And you can repeat that if you need to to get it to bond. And then that just leaves the corners, so we're going to roll those on as well. It's a technique where we just kind of work those corners and all those score lines and that complex cutting is all going to come together perfectly to match the contours of the S8. So if you need to just put a little pressure on the edges to get those to bond. Uh, and there you go, that's the difficult part. So now we're going to install the rest of the buttons. So there's um, multiple buttons here. There's a SIM card tray cover. That goes on there. There's a volume button. Long one. You're just going to want to give it a good press, set that, and then the last two buttons are the same size, the power button, press, make sure those work, probably start up your phone by accident. So uh, that's the main cover. So you can see the, the contours of the S8 fully wrapped. 
button covers, all your ports are fully exposed, so a big opening for a USB-C, headphone jack, and speakers. And one really nice feature on the S8 cover is that it actually allows, helps you to locate the fingerprint reader very easily so without looking at it you can just feel it. Um, and it also keeps your finger from going in and smudging up the camera cover. So now we'll install the optional front cover. We're also we're gonna give it a quick wipe down. In the front there. And we're just going to use the camera holes, like cutouts, um, on the front there to align with the cameras on the front panel, or on the glass. Peel off the backing paper. And align it over the mic, speaker, and camera openings on the top. Align the bottom up nicely with the score line so everything matches up beautifully. And then just press down the sides there. So there you go. Fully toasted, front and back in walnut. This is our most popular wood. So it adds nice protection to the front to the glass so that it can sit down on its face without touching the surface. 